Every year, lots of artists, they starve. At least that's what I heard. So if you want to help me avoid starving to death, there are many ways that you can do that. Um, I have a subscription service on Subscribestar. And I have a store where you can actually buy prints of my artwork and stickers. And I have a donation button through PayPal. If you would like to make a small or large donation, I would appreciate that very much. And if you're interested in one-of-a-kind commission work, you can send me an email at artfulworldofjennylynn at protonmail.com. All one word, all lowercase, smash it together. And... So with that said, I appreciate your support and please keep on watching. Hello, my name is Jenny Lynn and this is my channel. And today is picking day. So we're gonna pick the next subjects for the next painting. Well, I don't know if color is technically a subject or a concept. I don't really know. I should look that up. But we're just going to call it subject for the sake of this video. <laughs> and it's going the first Let's see, the first selection is going to be the Loch Ness Monster! Woohoo! Hooray! I used to love stuff like that growing up. I used to read all about like the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot and other crazy things like UFOs. I used to eat that stuff up. And the color that is going to go along with the Loch Ness Monster will be, if I could just select one, black and white. Wow, so I did put black and white in the colors because I wanted to do, you know, 10 specific colors and 10 cryptid creatures. And I kind of was short on my colors, so I decided to do the black and white and just count that. So that one might be actually quite easy. That one might be an easy one. We'll have to see. But all right, I am very excited to paint the very famous Nessie. So keep on watching. Ready, set, draw. Here we go. We're drawing the Loch Ness Monster. And again, I apologize that it's a little bit bright on the paper, but I think it's better than the first video. So that's a plus. And once again, you'll see me working out all of the little details. And again, you'll see me using my favorite tool, which is my eraser. You will see that appearing very frequently <laughs> throughout. Yes, indeed. But yeah, I uh, really, I had a really clear idea of what I wanted to draw for this one. So there isn't as much editing. And sometimes, again, that happens with art. Sometimes you have a really clear image in your mind of, of what you want. And it, it goes right on the paper very, very nicely. Everybody, acrylic paint, which I absolutely love. And of course, Mr. Ferris Mueller made it in this frame. <laughs> and uh, here I'm doing a method I call color blocking. I find like a, a mid tone and lay it down and then build from there. And as I get painting, you will notice that I attempt to paint some grass. And then after I painted most of the grass, I made a decision that I didn't like the grass. <laughs> so I completely painted it out and tried again. And I painted something different, which you will see momentarily.
And here we go. We're color blocking the body of the Loch Ness Monster. I think I think I went a little dark with the first color block. So I think I'm going to need to lighten that up significantly. <laughs> but yeah, I think all told, this painting took about 40 hours to complete. It was a long one. And here, I'm actually doing all of the fun little stripes and details and things and the eye. It was, it was quite a bit, it was quite a bit, but I'm really thrilled with how it came out. Um, there, I, looking at reference images of salamanders and really having a hard look at them, I was really amazed at how ornate some of them really are with their different patterns and things. So I tried to use that as inspiration for this. the puffins I love these guys so much aren't they adorable I think they're my absolute favorite part of this painting cute little puffins I tried to give them all like their own little personalities too and I hope that that translates well All right, here is the finished product of the Loch Ness Monster. So I have a lot I could talk about with this, so I'll try to keep it a little bit brief, but I did have some struggle with this particular painting, and that happens to me occasionally where I will just, I'll try something and I don't quite like it, and I'll try again, and I'll try again, and I'll try again, and then eventually either I abandon the work entirely or I start over. So for this particular one, I didn't want to abandon it completely. So I just kept trying some things, especially with, you know, the foreground of this with the rocks and the background with, you know, the, the lake and, and, and the mountainscape there. Um, so I eventually got to a place where I felt really good about it. So it did take some time, but I, I got there. And in this particular painting, the, uh, the puffins, I think, are my favorite part, honestly. They're adorable. I, <laughs> I love the little puffins and the Loch Ness Monster, I wanted to make he or she appear to be a lot more like a salamander. So I kind of combined a few different things together with, you know, like a long neck like a brontosaurus might have or a plesiosaur or a plesiosaur, however you pronounce it. And then I gave there's some other features here that are very much like a salamander. So I wanted to do something that was maybe not what we're, no, what we're used to seeing, you know, because you're used to just seeing like a plesiosaur when you see Loch Ness Monster. So I was kind of pushing the limit there on, you know, I want to do something different. So this is what we have. Um, I'm pleased with the uh, range of 
you know, shades and tones in this. And yeah, I like the little sassy sort of protective expression in the eye. You can definitely see that there's a little attitude going on because in this world that I created, the Loch Ness Monster, her or his job is to look after the puffins, to protect the puffins. So I have a very, you know, sort of protective feel going on here where this, this, be <laughs> this beast is taking its job quite seriously. So. <laughs> With that said, I had a great time. Even though I struggled with this, I still had a fun time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please like this video, share it out on your social media, and do all those wonderful things I always ask you to do. And I am very, very grateful that you've watched. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.